by Jeremy Sneed, Ariane DeVogue and Caitlin Polanski with only a few days left in February, court watchers are trying to read tea leaves as to the identity of President Joe Biden's pick for the Supreme Court before his end-of-the-month deadline, and a federal court on Thursday increased the buzz. The U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit deviated from its typical procedure by issuing an opinion on a Thursday, breaking with its usual schedule of Tuesday and Friday release days. Notably, Jackson, who has interviewed with Biden for the Supreme Court nomination, was in the majority in the two-to-one ruling case. Some legal experts took the release as a sign that Jackson could be the nominee and that the announcement could come as soon as Friday, especially because a similar scenario played out with now Justice Brett Kavanaugh. Part of why this sets off alarm bells is because we saw a similar scene play out. The D Circuit handed down a 2-to-1 ruling on a Monday, a day on which it does not usually hand down decisions, in a case in which Kavanaugh was in the majority. Had the case come down after his nomination was announced a few hours later, he presumably would have accused, and the panel would have divided one to one. It's not hard to imagine that the same calculus explains why this two to one decision with Judge Jackson in the majority came out today, another day on which the court does not usually issue non-emergency rulings. A DC Circuit Court official told CNN that the case in question was an unargued case in an emergency matter. The court always has the option to release opinions at any time, the official said, and has done so numerous times over the years, especially where an emergency matter is concerned. The case is a dispute between a Connecticut power plant and the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. The D.C. Circuit had intervened earlier this month to halt an order from the agency that would have blocked the plant from selling power to consumers. Thursday's ruling was the opinion, written by Circuit Judge Naomi Rao and joined by Jackson, explaining why the court had issued that emergency order. The D.C. Circuit official also confirmed that generally nominees for the Supreme Court stop participating in cases in front of the appellate court after their high court nomination is announced. Sometimes the nominated judge provides us with a statement to read in response to media inquiries, the Another contender for the seat, California Supreme Court Justice Leandra Kruger, was spotted in California Thursday morning, while a car accompanied by state police was seen departing the South Carolina home of a fellow shortlister, District Court Judge Jane Michelle Child, 